<laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to start right away with questions for Arike and Neka. I'm just here for vibes. <laughs> All right, first question will come from the fourth row to your left. Way right. back here. Hey, what's up, Arike? Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, sorry. Oh, good. Okay. Nope. All good. Um, coming out of halftime, did, did you make a conscious decision to let's <laughs> go, or or how did you get cooking? Uh, coach actually called me out <laughs> in at halftime in front of everybody. It was like, just take a deep breath and play your game, and then I guess you guys saw what happened. <laughs> uh, next question, come to the right side of the room, all the way in the back. Hey, Rika, Justin Lester, Joseph at Burn City Sports. Not only are you able to score at all three levels, but the way you slow down the game, also you use your body to be physical. Is there any player, WNBA, NBA, whatever, that you sort of model your game after? Um, I wouldn't say anybody in specific, but I watch a lot of NBA in the offseason. I just love how they play. And uh, every time I watch, I try to learn something from great players. So I would just say, you know, a bunch of NBA players. Uh, next question on the back to the right. Enrique, congratulations on the MVP. Just wondering about how, even though Dallas is having the season it is, uh, still with the low record, uh, low amount of wins, how does it Damn. feel? Oh, Damn. You ain't got to say it twice. <laughs> but how does it feel to basically come in and dominate the way you did? Um, I think it's just a testimony to, you know, my hard work. Uh, regardless, you know, win, lose, or draw, I'm going to play my game. And uh, that's what I've been doing for Dallas. So this is good to – Get a win, even though it doesn't count. I wish it would count. Then we'll probably have seven wins. So, <laughs> the next question to your left. Over here. Uh, congratulations, Enrique. Quick one for you. What was your favorite shot from this game? I know. Probably the runner. Know. Yeah. Oh, that was probably cute. That was cute. That was cute. Yeah, that was Which cute. One the one that you got fouled on. Yeah, facts. That was crazy. Yeah, you're right. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Rena Merch at The Athletic, uh, Arike, I guess you just didn't really like the white jersey in the first half. But, um, uh, you know, you guys talk about how, like, it's, this is not about playing against, you know, Team USA. There's no backstory there. But, like, this is definitely a more competitive game than other All-Star games are. So what is it that makes it more competitive then? Uh, because they're getting ready. Um, Cheryl, she's a great coach. She's competitive. And they're going to the Olympics tonight. So, you know, they needed to run their plays. They obviously don't want to lose, you know, going into Paris. But we also don't want to lose. Uh, we're competitive, too. And we kind of got wind that they were going to come out hard. So that's exactly what we wanted to do as well. Okay. Congrats on the MVP. Next question right in front. I'm sorry. Congrats on the MVP and uh, just a phenomenal game. Um, as you continue to make your mark on the WNBA, uh, what are your goals for the rest of the season, and how do you plan on building on some of the success that you've seen um, recently, like, you know, beating the Fever and then, you know, just coming out and making your statement tonight? What are your goals for the rest of the season beyond? Yeah, uh, we're going to get players back that have been hurt. Obviously, Satu Sabli, you know, first team all WNBA, two-time All-Star. So we'll get her back. Maddie, we'll get her back. Um, and we'll just have a full roster. So we definitely trying to make that playoff push in the second half. Uh, next question, all the way in the back center. Hi, um, Arika, you joined Lisa Leslie, Swin Cash, and Maya Moore as multiple time MVP mm -hmm. winners for the All-Star Game. How does that feel to be among those names? Yeah, I mean, those are three greats, you know, people who paved the way for uh, players like us. So that's definitely dope to be in that conversation. Okay. Front. Uh, next question. Front row to the right. Hey, Rick and Neka. Aya Abdeen for Arizona PBS Pocket News. I would like to ask you about how rookies like Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese handled the pressure in their first all-star games tonight i mean i thought i thought that they were they were professional like as you know as as anyone at this level would be um you know i'm i'm always impressed by the two of them i think it was also really fun to see them playing together tonight mm -hmm. um they had some synergy and the maturity that they have going in not even just being here at all-star but managing you know all of the influx that they get as the as the two rookies that are really getting a lot a lot of attention and then of course like being celebrated too i think i would like to think that they had fun today mm -hmm. you know and i think that's mm -hmm. the main goal especially for first time all-stars is to enjoy the experience and they helped us win too mm -hmm. all right, next question front row to your left hey this is for both of you ladies um lauren with the 9450 What's the most memorable part of this weekend for both of you guys? And then what are you looking forward to most doing um, with a couple of weeks off with no basketball? Uh, for me, it's always playing against players that um, you compete against every day. Like NECA, I've always wanted to play with her. So I love her. She's such a professional, uh, just an amazing person to be around. Good vet, great vet. And just other players, too. Like, like I said, you know, it's never 
friendly when we play them and uh, are in the lines of the real game. So here, you know, we get to laugh, have fun and just enjoy each other's company. So that's always my favorite part. Same. I mean, it's always just a dream, you know, whether it's on the national team or even at All Star, being able to play with people that you're only playing against. So my favorite my favorite part is always getting to have like a moment of playing with such amazing athletes. Uh, next question from the center of the room. Akeem Balin, beyond the w.com. Uh, I just wanted to ask one question for Arike and then one for both. Um, what is it about this? Uh, this is the second year you've won MVP and All-Star, and both have come under the USA WNBA format. What is it about this really? format that just, you know, <laughs> wow. brings out the best in you? So okay, then, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, what is it about this format that brings out the best <laughs> in you? Motivation. And okay. also, um, just the competitiveness. I mean, this is a competitive <laughs> all-star game. This is a, oh you know, something that's, you know, kind of, uh, kind of different, very competitive. Yeah. Uh, I was saying before, just they're getting ready to play and they want to win. So we're not going to get embarrassed as well. They have plays they've been practicing. So uh, we just want to come out hard and I love competition. You know, if I hear somebody's trying to beat me, I'm going to try to beat them, you know, twice as hard. So that's, you know, usually what happens when we play USA. All right. Next question from the front row center. Yeah, Enrique, you said Cheryl got at after you at halftime. What what was that conversation like and what was what were you thinking with Cheryl Miller getting on getting on you? <laughs> yeah, I mean I wasn't expecting her to say my name. Like she was just talking about the team that she pointed at me. And I was just <laughs> like, all right. So like I said, she just told me to take a deep breath and uh play my game. All right, 